Got a drop on this flexing nigga. He from Tennessee. I had a thought. She be with this shit. She told me where he be. I say for sure. Baby, let me know if you want to eat. She like, Vaughn, you already know. Just put your girl on fleet. I'm like, cool. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're not new here, my name is Moesha. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Vlog. Right now. Right now, I'm about to make something in the crock pot. Sorry, I'm sorry to just jump right on in, but if, if you know, you know, like, it's clearly my off day. I usually start my vlog on my off day. Um, today is Wednesday, so today I'm going to do a lazy dinner. I'm going to go put something in the crock pot. I'm already dressed, as you can see, because I'm supposed to be going shopping. Not supposed to. I am going to be going shopping today with my little sister. Um, taking her to get, like, some summer clothes, some cute stuff, cute things, and I might pick up a few things never know i'm trying not to i don't need to i really don't need to be spinning for what for what for what just because we're going yeah of course anyways i'm making this like teriyaki honey sesame honey teriyaki something chicken i found this recipe literally yesterday i found two recipes for the next two days online they're easy crock pot recipes so i don't have to cook i mean so i don't have to you know do too much i can enjoy my day off without i'm tired of making dinner y'all so i'm like you know what? if i have to utilize the crock pot every single day then i will i'm just gonna be a crock pot cooking ass bitch or a door dash or an ass bitch either way okay either way but let's go all right so i have the crock pot obviously let me get the recipe it's a little bit i won't say complicated but there is a little work involved it's not just a dump well it is a dump one you just have to make the sauce so basically we just put the chicken in and then put the sauce that we're gonna make on top please eat the chicken this is the chicken we're using this is the chicken Oh, this has like a uh, pound and a half. These are huge. Yeah, I think this whole thing is like five pounds. Is it? Four pounds. So it said use how much? How much chicken? One and a half pounds. So about half of this would be two. We'll put these three. And then I'll put this up. I'm going to go wash these pieces really quick. So I noticed in the recipe, it doesn't say anything about seasoning the meat. Just putting it at the bottom. But I'm going to season it with at least salt and pepper. I'm not going to put too much seasoning because the sauce that we're making is probably why they told me not to season it. So I don't want it to be like over taste over season or whatever but i'm definitely gonna put at least some garlic salt and regular salt just on cheap so for the sauce soy sauce honey tomato paste chili paste i don't mince no garlic i'm using already minced garlic cornstarch rice vinegar soy sauce <laughs> So I didn't record us doing any shopping because we were up to serious business, guys, but we did go out to eat afterwards. So this is us at Chili's after we had done all our shopping and we were very, very hungry. <laughs> This is a, they're special. It's Tito's. I'm looking for Tito's. Here's Alicia and Anthony. I thought she had a beer. What's she doing? I sent a picture. I sent a picture to my nana, and I covered the root, and I drank it. <laughs> so I just did this. I did Mm-hmm. Yes. Try the macaroni. The macaroni. It's worth 
Hey guys, so I'm back from our little excursion today. Um, I didn't film while we were shopping because I was very much on a mission, very much trying to get the clothes together. I'm so proud of her. She has some really, 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 really cute outfits. She has enough outfits to last her all summer. So I'm really excited. Then we went to Chili's, guys. I had only been to Chili's, I say, once in my life. Yeah, once in my life back in college when I went with a friend for her birthday. So I, yeah, I don't, I didn't know nothing about no Chili's, y'all, but Chili's food was good. They had these like, if it looks like I'm a little lit right now, it's cause I am because they had these like Tito watermelon margarita type things. It was a margarita cause it had Tito's in it and agave, but then also had Tito. So it was, it was good though, I had two of them. And the, and the reason I had two is cause the first one I was like, oh, I ain't drunk enough. So I had another one and now I feel like a little good only problem is if it sounds like i'm talking weird i can't tell because my ears are clogged my my ears hurt and i've been using nasal spray you know for my allergies and stuff but now i'm like dang am i getting sick because why do my ears hurt like my ears hurt like they're clogged like i'm sick i really hope i'm not getting sick i really really hope i'm not getting sick so we're gonna open some pr that i have here while I'm sitting here, I'm sitting in front of the door because I'm waiting for cash to come, so. Let's see, first thing I have. Ooh, this is some premium hair oil. It says hair strengthening and frizz control. It's coconut flavor, makes dry hair shiny for all hair types from root to tip. Okay. This is it. Right here. I'm gonna use this definitely on my uh, my locks. So we'll see how this goes, this premium hair oil, that's perfect. It has 17 amino acids and proteins, five from plant-based oils, paraben-free, mineral oil-free, SLS-free. Ooh, special formula for hair strengthening to fill the voids in damaged hair. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm not really a fan of coconut scents. Coconut scents, but coconut is really good for hair, skin, and it. You can tell I'm drunk, huh? <laughs> like I said, I didn't I didn't think the thing was strong, so that's why I ordered a second one. Then the first one started kicking in and the food came, and I still had a full second one, but then I had to chunk the second one before he left because I'm not gonna waste it, you know. Now I'm like, woo, that food. Boom. Anyways, I like the packaging, it's just cute. QAF. And it's in like a little Smells good. Next, oh, this is from Amazon. This is not PR. I ordered this myself. They're just hair bows. Um, if you've seen me in my last vlogs when I wear my natural hair locks, I used to put a bow in my hair. Um, so I just got like this pack of bows because I was using um, just like a headscarf and tying it in a bow. These are actual bows made for the hair with a clip on the back. That's so cute, huh? So like, let me see if I can show you guys like something. Oh my God. I can't believe how lit I am on a Wednesday. Like I really, like I said, when I drank that first one, it, I didn't think it was strong at all. I was like, you know when the drink is so good, like it doesn't even taste like it's alcohol. Like I chugged that first one so fast. But the thing is I didn't give it a chance to, to kick in before I got another one. That's the problem. It's got this bow on. I can't even see. I see the bow. Yeah, but I didn't really get it to wear with this wig. This hair is so fine and um like straight anyways. Like, yeah, it's already falling out. I really got this, like I said, to wear when I wear my dread. So it came with a pink one, this pink color. A white one, cute, and a black one. I'm so excited. I'm just kidding. I'm so excited for these. This isn't even open. I thought I opened it. So what exactly is this? Let's see. I didn't open this. What the fuck is it? 
supposed to be a mystery. It's a mystery to me and you. Wrinkle Bounce Multi Bomb with Juju Origin. Okay, this is like some PR. Uh, Korean beauty products I hear are really, really good, and I've had a few Korean beauty products, and they are top tier. They far exceed American skincare. So, yeah, this is some Wrinkle Bouncing Balm. I'll try this on myself a little later. I know what this is. This is a heart-shaped brush. I'm excited. <laughs> Him. He just like busted out like he was, I don't know what. I slammed the door on his way up. Bye. Anyways, this is a heart shaped brush. Yeah, heart shaped rose gold brush. This is made in Korea. All three of these items came from um, like the same. I don't know if they're exactly the same brand, but they're the same seller on Amazon. Ooh, that's hecka cute. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. This is the brush, you guys. Look at, look how cute it is. Such a gift get your art. Hi, you can come. Look at him. He got some food, y'all. Show the people what you got. He got this from Burlington. Oh, it's crusty crab order. Uh, <laughs> and you got crab. Oh, extra tomato. Oh, look at it. Okay, it says down. I got some crusty crab, sea foam soda. I got kelp fries, hot dogs, burgers. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the tray. It even says the crusty crab, like crusty crab restaurant. I like this. And mustard. You don't have to pay me. I have to pay you. That's really? How crusty crab works. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, pay me. This is a little debit card. <laughs> oh, I think, no, this is your name badge. Yes. <laughs> you work at the Krusty Krab, and then show them your hat. We got this hat from Burlington, too. It's anime. So cute. Ooh, I think Cash is here. Wait, Cash is coming soon. His bus is coming. Yep, you want to go get him off the bus? Let's yeah. get him. Kelp so back to this brush, you guys. It comes with this little thing to close it. YouTube. Oh. Put this in like this. Oh yeah, and it just covers it. Look. Let me see real quick. She also has this. If you, oh if yeah, you I showed her that. Oh, you already did. Yep. This is. Oh yeah, this is lit. And it's so cute. Look at Kobe. Uh oh, go close the gate. Kobe's trying to get out. Look at him. Close it. Oh yeah, and it works wonderful. Look at the bristles. I love this. I'm definitely putting this in my purse. I like that it has this cover. And I'm gonna stop filming now, guys, because as you can see, the kids are very much active right now. Um, so we're just gonna chill, relax, play. I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'll talk to you guys a little later. Oh, Crock Pot Food is doing good. I forgot when I put it on. What time did I put it on? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. At 4 o'clock, it will have been 5 hours and we're cooking it on slow. So we'll, we'll check in with it in about another uh, hour and a half. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm in bed now. It's 10.13, Green Saver, I love it. I'm eating Cheetos. Everybody's asleep. 
well, kids. Guys. So yeah, I'm exhausted, but it was a great day. Also, it was a really, 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 really great day because we got some unexpected, like, good, new, like, legit good news. I'm not, it's so good that I don't, I'm not even going to talk about it right now while I'm tired. I'm going to tell you guys in the morning, but like, just can't believe it, you know? It's just like God's plan versus your plan. God's plan is always like 10 times better than you could have imagined, and it's like, one moment you're disappointed that your plans didn't work out and then the next moment it's like god's just here like look ta-da something 10 times better and you just like literally dumped out it like it's just a wednesday i was just having a normal wednesday and this literally just fell into our lap like it's crazy so I'm going to sleep three days later George, mom where's george Who's George? George. Who is that? No, not George. I got my makeup on because I am going to work today. I'm going to work um, at two o'clock today. I'm doing like a mid shift thing. Um, yesterday I did go to work as well. Yesterday was my Monday, so yeah, today's my second day at work. <coughs> um, I'm under the weather a little bit. Well, like it was a lot bit yesterday and I've come to the conclusion like my boyfriend thinks I'm crazy but I really believe me sleeping with artificial air like a fan or AC like it messes with my I don't know what to even call it but my throat gets scratchy I start to get sick my nasal cavities start acting up my sinuses are bad like and I'm telling him it's because of the AC or the fan the terrible thing is he likes to sleep with the AC or the fan on so it's I think it's really gonna come down to me having to sleep in the living room well yesterday I just straight up turned the AC off now, I'm not gonna lie it is pretty hot you know yes it'd be hot but the thing is I would like to be cool but on the same accord I cannot have like an AC or a fan oh, no, I just can't it, it literally will fuck me up like I'm an asthmatic this morning I was wheezing okay um bad i took my inhaler all morning so like i'm barely getting my life together now i'm starting to feel a lot better uh, my boyfriend also made me some tea before he left it's like this hibiscus tea that has like apple cider vinegar a bunch of like stuff that's supposed to like clean your art clean clean your system out and, and detox and all that and it that stuff actually i'm i'm not gonna lie it worked really i was down bad all yesterday at work i like i felt bad i really shouldn't have went in i was bartending and i'm over there like literally sneezing blowing my nose every two seconds like i know that like that's that's terrible you know but i sound a lot better now i still sound a little messed up but i'm i'm, I'm telling you i'm a lot better than i was yesterday and a little earlier because of that tea and also it's like uh yeah I, but i still feel really tired but then again like i could possibly be sick because i, I the kids are always well i don't know i don't know. honestly i'm over here self-diagnosing myself but i'm just saying i see a pattern with me getting sick and me sleeping with whatever so anyways i have a crop pot meal on again um i'm making some creamy tuscan chicken i think it's called in the crock pot let's go ahead and go see it all done now Ooh, smells good it's looking good it's got like sun-dried tomatoes all kind of stuff in it i'm gonna do a taste test i also got like some whole wheat noodles cooked put them both together and see what's up mad at putting things together and making it look aesthetically pleasing <laughs> so like don't mind me i'm saying i need a knife mm. that's good 
So yeah, I'm, I need to go get another battery. I'm gonna eat this food and drink me a Celsius and I'm gonna start a, uh, a little mini workout. I probably am gonna go to the gym before work today if I have time, but if not, that's what I'm gonna do a little mini workout now, so. The next day. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm sorry, this I feel like this vlog is all over the place. But then again, I don't know because I don't even remember what I have filmed until I'm editing it. So, if it is all over the place, bear with me. This week has been all over the place. At work, um, my schedule's been all over the place. In life, my schedule's been all over the place. So, it's this is giving what you know real life is for me but whatever but whatever i'm getting ready to go to work again today i'm doing the day shift okay i just came from what swing shift yesterday this is why i'm all bubble jumbled but it's okay uh, this is also why i usually don't film until my off days because trying to film like doing regular day like anyways Bath and Body Works had their semi-annual sale. <laughs> and you know what? I'm just, I'm so slow because I remember like, I didn't used to go to Bath and Body Works at all or often because I'm like, I'm not paying $16 uh, for their lotions and sprays. But then I realized like, oh, <laughs> duh, you should never have to pay full, full price for anything Bath and Body Works related. Why? Um, like once, twice a month, every month, every single month, the stuff goes on sale to where like the sprays and stuff are like $4.95, $5.95 you know or five for 30 something like that or then you have this semi-annual swell sale twice a month like twice a month twice a year where the stuff is like stupid cheap so like i literally got i got 13 items for 55 dollars that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about boom bam oh bop bada bop boom pow oh! Anyways, I'm just gonna show you real quick, and of course, in true motivation fashion, I can't even smell, and which is pissing me off because I, I don't even know what this shit smells like. <laughs> and I'm so sad about it. I can't even tell you guys. I can show you, but like, I can't tell you because once again, I'm congested. Like, I have severe. Uh, at this point, I'm calling it severe. I've diagnosed myself with severe. I mean, severe allergies. Okay. I have not been able to breathe and or smell for I'd say the last two months okay and then I have my nasal spray I've been taking the Afrin nasal spray which works in like decongesting my nose enough for me to at least breathe like I need to go take it again because as soon as I start recording I can't breathe <laughs> anyways I've been taking that but it has not done anything for my smell so then I started googling and then you know they say after the COVID after you get COVID your smell might never come back like this is dumb shit I'm one of the people like my smell my smell never really came back all the way like it was sometimes he did again I don't know if it's because of that or because I was also reading up and it said like when you have allergies or sinus infection or inflamed sinuses it can mess with your sense I mean your smell your sense of smell my sinuses are always inflamed I'm always having allergies like my nose is always congested that, that's the thing that's probably why I can never fucking smell so <sighs> can't smell my bath mouth but it, it doesn't even matter like even yesterday at work i go into work and the people the guests are like oh you smell so nice I, again i i put my lotion and spray on yeah duh because i know other people can smell me but i almost kind of looked at them for a second like what because i was like oh yeah he can smell me but i can't I'm like i don't even know what i smell like but thank you <laughs> so ghetto the ghetto anyway let me show you what i got um, so, first and foremost, I got strawberry pound cake. I already have the, um, the body spray of this, so I got this, as well as the strawberry pound cake body wash. I got a lot of different body wash, not a lot, just three. I also got the Sweetheart Cherry Body Wash. That goes with the cream, I also got the cream. I've never seen this one. I don't know, it didn't say it was new. 
sweetheart cherry since i can't even smell these you guys and i probably won't for the next few days weeks or whatever my fucking sense of smell comes back i'm still gonna wear them because other people smell them but comment down below if you know any of these <laughs> what smells good i don't even fucking i just have to go off what the fragrance notes says i also got the cloud nine body spray this one i hadn't seen before i just this looks like it's gonna smell hella good i just know it is and then i got the cloud nine body cream to go with it and i think i got yeah and then for cloud nine i also got the body wash so cool okay then i got watermelon lemonade just because i don't know what sounded like that would smell good <laughs> so i ordered all this online and picked it up in the store so again even if i picked it up in the store i wouldn't have been able to smell it before hitting anyways whatever like i don't even care uh confetti daydream lotion and goes with the confetti daydream spray this looks like it's gonna smell hella good too this and the cloud nine like it's the packaging for me it was a pretty packaging for me that's why i got it look fuck the smell just kidding boy <laughs> fuck the smell just kidding and this one too Girl, cotton cotton candy clouds oh, the lotion to go with the cotton candy clouds i feel like these three are gonna be like my faves these, these three right here this shit right here nigga. this shit right here nigga this shit right here nigga right here this shit nigga this shit here nigga I, just kidding just kidding i didn't put lashes on today i guess i'll bring mascara just in case i'm gonna throw that on but yeah i'll see you guys i don't know i'll, I'll bring my content phone and maybe record we'll see see you guys bye the next day hey guys it's the next day the next morning um what am i doing right now i already put on some clothes nothing too wild the dog ran away <laughs> Not, not ran away. He ran out the gate, so my boyfriend is out there chasing. He ran out the gate, so he's out there chasing him. Kobe. Kobe's eating bananas and Cheerios. It's windy today. It's supposed to be freaking summer. But I don't know. We can go see. We ordered a DoorDash today. We had to go outside and hunt it down because it said delivered. We didn't see it. The guy's like, I dropped it off at the front front steps. Wasn't here. So turns out he put it at the fucking neighbors. <coughs> As you can see, I'm still kind of sick. I'm still kind of sick. Kobe's still kind of sick. Anyways, we ordered this stuff called Everbowl, which is like acai bowl. Am I even saying that right? Is it a... I don't even care. Oh, look, first of all, look at the spoons, they're cute. This is the bowls. This is my boyfriend's. He, he got pineapple on his, and like almonds and stuff, acai, and the stuff called Blue Magic. We don't know what Blue Magic is. This is our first time ordering from this, so we'll see. I got the smaller one. Then I got cinnamon, strawberries, and kiwi on top of mine. And then I got blue magic, acai, and vanilla. So, they're cute. Hey guys, I am at work right now. <coughs> I'm still kind of sick. I'm just sitting in the parking lot right now. I came early because I needed to like turn in some of my poker chips 
Um, and then I had to go put some money in the bank because I was going to do a Walmart order because I started running out of stuff again. And of course, I'm not going to the grocery store. No. So I had to get like paper cups and uh, we're out of fruit. And it's true what they say. Boys will eat you out of fucking house and home. I'm always ordering snacks. or I mean, just food in general. They just eat through the food so fast. So I had to get more like Nutri-Cane bars and veggie straws, grapes, go all the motherfucking things. And they're going to be gone in two days. I'm going to be on here again in two days doing another Walmart order. Okay. <laughs> because they've ate us out of house and home again. So, yeah, that's how that's going. I also left a little early because I have some things to do. Also, I am I just wanted to catch up on the vlog because I feel like I've been all over the place because I have, like I was telling you guys. But lots of good things um, have been happening. Um, so, we are randomly like this is literally randomly moving okay and this is great because we were thinking about moving one because like we live in like a duplex and our neighbors were pissing us off they were being loud yada 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 there was that but then also just like we needed more space uh we wanted a bigger yard and xyz but long story short we decided you know there's nothing wrong with the place we're in moving is just going to be another big expense for nothing right now when we don't have to you know we, we, we don't we didn't have to move it wasn't imperative but we wanted to so we had decided like we can just stay one more year we're gonna renew our lease and it'll be fine we'll move in a year when you know uh, things are a little better better as in you know just not better as in like just not coming up right now because we had just decided like yeah maybe we should just move when our lease is up but next year we can plan to be gone by you know the next time make it more planned because our lease is up in august you know so um it's, it was kind of short term for us to like try and start i don't i, I don't want to and i just don't want to do it right now i don't i don't fucking feel like it i don't feel like searching i don't feel like going looking i've been busy at work you know i don't feel like doing the application i just don't i don't feel like doing that shit this summer you know i don't but like i said this came out of nowhere because the way god works god is so good um so anyways the landlord they had messaged us and they were saying how um they're going to be remodeling the the unit behind us the one that's attached to us in july when the tenants move out in june okay and if we wanted to get ours our unit remodeled afterwards and i said hold up hold up hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> because the unit next to us even though it's a duplex it's not the same by any means they have a whole new layout a whole new floor plan it's the square footage is so much bigger the yard is i kid you not four times the size of our four times the size of our yard so that unit is way bigger so i said hold up hold up hold up ask her if because our lease is coming up in august like i said if we can just move it <laughs> move into that unit you know because what we wanted was a bigger yard it's a bigger yard more space it has more space and then we were only wanting to move because the neighbors were fucking annoying but they're gonna be gone anyway so i'm like not only can we stay at this place but we can probably also move to the bigger unit and problem fucking solved this will be the easiest move ever we can literally throw our shit over the gate like throw it over the gate okay so he wrote back and everything and yeah they said yeah and they are then they're only renting it to us for 25 dollars more than what we're already paying but like i said for the amount of square i even if it was an extra two or three hundred it would have been worth it to me based off of size alone and then i'm thinking and then they're remodeling it too so it's already um so it's already checked off a bunch of our boxes, but then it's going to be remodeled too. So it's getting a brand new kitchen, a brand new laundry room, a brand new bathroom. The bedrooms won't be touched. Um, and they're putting central AC because our unit doesn't even have central AC. Neither of them had central AC, but now they're both going to have central AC, which ugh, like this is so cool. But for only $25 more than what we're paying. So not only do I, we not have to go through the process of filling out applications and finding another place and putting another deposit and blah 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 we found a place that's way bigger checks up all our boxes the neighbors are going to be gone and it's only 25 dollars more like look at god oh my god what? look at god okay anyways so there's that that's happening so it's, it's what is it it's moving pretty fast it's june 3rd so they're gonna be out by the end of this month 
I hope the remodel doesn't take more than two weeks. I'm, I'm trying to be in there. Uh, and my birthday's in August, so I'm like, yes, yay, me. Like, last, when we moved into this place, this was kind of like my birthday present because we were either going to go on a birthday trip for me, but I, I was pregnant at that time and we lived in a small apartment and I was like, all I want is to be moved by my birthday. I don't give a fuck if we're broke on my birthday. Just get us out of this apartment. We need a bigger place. Yeah, yeah. So, it's funny that we're moving again, like, right before my birthday, we'll be moving <coughs> um, sometime in August or before August. I don't know how long the it's going to take for them to do all those remodels, you know, but um, yeah. <sighs> I'm just so happy. And like I said, it, it came out of nowhere. It was totally unexpected, but it's a blessing and I'm so, so happy to be moving. Um, another thing at work, it's just been not busy in the sense of we've been hella busy business-wise, customer-wise. It's been busy in the sense that everybody's been like calling off not coming into work blah, blah 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 you know typical stuff you deal with at the casino working around i won't even say young people because they're not young just irresponsible you just you come across some crazies <clears throat> but honestly uh it works in my favor like uh i have a lot that i do want to do this summer like just like shopping vacationing wise like i got shit planned you know so i'm like more money for me whatever but i've been tired i'm not gonna lie like this week again i'm working six days i've been tired and then i'm all over the place shift wise i worked the day shift the last two days now i'm on the night shift get, you know so it's just been um all over the place but like i said i'm i'm not complaining about it because it keeps me going that's all like i was staying at home before this i was just doing content i was being like doing the stay at home mom thing i can't just be at home and honestly i i started to realize the days when i'm at home i'm still doing work Work, you know I'm cleaning cooking like I'm just tired of it so the fact that I'm um working more too honestly like just now I just did another door dash order I door dashed breakfast and lunch and then I'm door dashing dinner too like I'm just I'm to the point in my life where I'm paying for convenience and honestly on my days off it's good that I'm I'm working so much because I feel like on my days off I'll have enough excess money to where I could probably door dash all day those two days so like I'm not trying to worry about cooking and shit right now and another thing we've been trying to eat healthier and this and this and that and half this like I don't know I just I don't have the time I like, I don't want to waste my time doing mundane things so I, I'm proud of us for what we door dash because we were eating healthy stuff like this morning we had like some acai bowls they were so freaking good I think I showed you guys yeah the, those bowls are hella good and then for lunch we ordered sushi which again healthy you know I'm trying to get away from fried greasy you know all that stuff and on DoorDash you know I can choose vegan or vegetarian or like I can just find all this healthy food that I don't have to fucking cook and it's gonna come to the you know like DoorDash right now for me is top tier because honestly I thought about ordering like like when I get financially well enough I want to have a personal chef but to be honest to to subsidize that right now i might be paying more in doordash than i would be paying a chef for the week if i just ordered doordash every single day all day but honestly i don't like i just don't, i'm to the point where i don't care anymore i i need to how do i say this delegate tasks elsewhere because the whole doing everything and being a stressed out tired mom that's not my narrative okay <laughs> we're not doing that that's why i go to work because you know i could do that i could just be a stay-at-home mom and, and do all that stuff but i don't want to i'm like the fact that i'm going to work i'm using the money i made for work to help me out to pay for things like cleaning like like i'm gonna get the house deep clean soon because like the kids the walls are just dirty everything's dirty i don't want to deep clean it i don't have the time to deep clean it. i'm not gonna make the time i'm just gonna pay for it so i'm happy honestly i'm happy that i've been working more because yeah i have like irrelevant but relevant to me shit that i want to pay for like deep cleaning and door dashing and things like that so i'm not mad i'm here at work and proud another thing my freaking allergies are still trash <laughs> i still have some more nasal spray i told you guys i'm still sick i'm just I've been going through the motions but another good thing has been happening to me i've been getting so uh, many more inbounds uh, like collaboration wise from brands and i'm so 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 excited you guys i'm not i can't really talk about any of them right now obviously um but literally this morning um and over the weekend i had at least seven seven good ones you know because a lot a lot of them be scams like you gotta watch out for um people trying to scam you they're they're not really 
um, who they say they are. They're not really the brands, you know. Uh, I'll get into that later. I want to make like a, a influencer type um, video or how to get paid because I'm finally getting to the point where, like I said, I'm getting lots of inbounds um, now and I'm starting to get paid collaborations and things like that. And I'm like, yes, yes. Um, and I just want to go on record saying like it's been a long time coming. You know, this is I'm one of those people where, you know, I was I don't get I didn't get like success overnight. I've been making content. I've been making TikToks and reels since 2020. Like when COVID first came out and TikTok became popular because everybody was at home. I started making reels in 2020. Then I started my business in 2021. And that's when I started taking content creation seriously because I had another whole YouTube channel um, and I had built that one up to success and all that. And then you, I don't know if you guys know my story, but then that one had got deleted. It had had over like 15,000 subscribers. So then I ended up making this new channel and I told myself anyways because I had quit my body schools and business because I was overwhelmed with running a fucking business I'm like never gonna do that shit again um but I liked the content creation aspect of it and I liked that I was able to generate money from content creation so I was like I just want to be a content creator like just lifestyle just myself just me doing vlogs just just content creating like without the business so that's what I've been doing but it's been a long time coming it's tw June <laughs> it's June of 2024 so I, I've been creating content for four years now almost five so yeah it's been a long time coming and I'm, I'm ready I'm ready for the time in my life where I can be financially well off off of content alone and by financially well off I don't mean something small like I, I mean like really well off I'm not someone that needs to be like rich rich but if I can just generate at least ten thousand dollars online that's enough for me and then I'll, I'll finally like actually stop working at my job like ten thousand dollars is enough for me to uh, <laughs> do you know shop I can have like two thousand dollar shopping budget I'd have like a two thousand dollar you know cleaning and babysitter budget so that's four thousand still have six thousand dollars left we'll say we'll put three thousand dollars towards bill still have you see what I mean ten thousand that's the number for me that's the magic number but I'm hoping by the end of this year I, I get there I'm hoping by the end of this, this year I get there so yeah I'm about to get ready to go into work it's 448 yeah i need to go put my uniform on so I'm, I'm gonna have to go in there but yeah i just wanted to chat with you guys and catch you guys up on everything that's been happening i'm gonna end this vlog right here because honestly the next two days i'm working again like crazy and i'm not going to try to vlog but i will spend the time editing this video so that i can get it up by like wednesday or friday so yeah thank you guys for watching another video like the video if you can it really does um help me out i know people will probably wonder like oh but like likes literally matter for content creators especially content creators small content creators that are trying to grow like myself so please if you can but thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you guys in another vloggy vlog bye